Today, I'm gonna talk about City Boys. In the recent days, I'm sure you've either heard of it or seen outfits that are named or labeled as City Boys. However, the history of it goes back to 2012. It was first labeled in Popeyes, which is a famous Japanese magazine, and I believe the current director is Takarino Hiroshita, who is a master of preppy looks. Anyway, so this is what preppy look is defined in Popeyes. He's a wealthy Caucasian boy living around New York City. He is a bit shy, he also loves music, and he is curious and eager to develop his future. The translation might be a bit off, but the meaning is there. This was the impression that they were thinking about when defining the city boy look, and I wanted to share this because it will give you a better understanding, and better yet, later on, you can have your own definition and own interpretation of the same look. I always like to share this in my videos because that will help you in the long run. So if you want to learn more, like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and let's get right into it. Styling your lifestyle. The first thing I want you to focus on is the profile of the tops, whether it be like a t-shirt, button up, outers, whatever it is, they're all oversized. This silhouette provides more of that city boy look because when would you ever wear something that's like super oversized as when you're a boy? So with that, this look gives more of a younger vibe rather than like American casual, which kind of looks more jacked and like more masculine. Not that people with like big beard or like big size can't rock the style, but it does fit people who don't have facial hair and people who are slim. Yes, finally a style that fits people without facial hair. I'm so glad. I'm so glad this happened. The colors of the tops are classic Ralph Lauren colors. So something like navy, sky blue, and white. Those are the colors that I see the most and navy especially, like everything is navy. And because this look is inspired by American culture, a lot of things they wear, they have like US labels. So obviously the New Balance made in US lines, they're gonna be great for this outfit. And I'm gonna talk about that in the later section when I talk about shoes, but keep that in mind. What I see a lot is just using solid patterns. They don't use a lot of like prints or details. If they have something, it'll most likely be like vertical or horizontal stripes. That's about it. They don't have something that's like super flashy. If I were to recommend one item to start off this outfit, I would recommend oversized polo shirts because I feel like that's kind of like the stereotypical image of a spoiled kid picking something from their dad's closet and that's what the look is inspired by. So I would definitely go for something like old school garments. In terms of the outers, fishtail and peacoats go really well because that really complements the oversized look. So if you're looking for tops and outers to start off the style, I would recommend something with navy and super oversized. That's probably the easiest pick and you'll get to feel how this entire outfit's supposed to be. And the next part is the pants. You might have already caught this in the images that I've been showing, but a lot of the pants, I mean, most of it, they're wearing super wide pants. Even for shorts, the trunks are super wide. So then the question comes, does all wide fit work for city boy looks? Well, I can't really define what works or not, but I can give you some recommendations. It mostly depends on which type of top you're wearing. A lot of times if you're going for city boy looks, it will have something like cotton base or nylon or something that has like a bit of shiny texture. Like even if it's cotton, there are different cotton textures. For example, this pants is also made from cotton, but as you can see and here, kind of has a shinier texture than this one, which is also made from cotton. This is less shiny and less, less, less synthetic. It's like, it's like really like pure cotton. This is also, this one is also pure cotton, but they just have like different finishes. I'm not sure if you can see clearly in the video, but yeah, they basically have different finishes. And what I recommend is something like this, more on the shinier side, because that it's easier to match with other city boy outfits. Imagine the shirt that you're wearing is made of cotton and like everything else is cotton, but you have wool pants. That's highly likely to not look good. So just keep everything in the same tone, same fabric. That's my best advice. In terms of the color, starting with black or navy is obviously the easiest. And I would go for navy wide pants because like I mentioned, a lot of city boy tops are basically navy based. And if you wear navy bottom, it's going to match pretty well. And once you complete a basic outfit, move on to different colors, different silhouettes, and the world is your oyster. Is that the right expression? The third one, we got shoes. Picking the right shoes, as I always mention, is like the essential to making a perfect outfit. And I mean, not even perfect, a nice outfit. It's the thing that really defines your lifestyle because depending on what you enjoy and what you do, your shoes are gonna change. Your tops and bottoms, they will change, but your shoes, they're the first things to change. Imagine someone who lives along New York City. You love music, you love reading, you have a favorite superstar, and you enjoy watching sports. Then most likely you're gonna be wandering around the city looking for a nice place to just chill and like listen to music. So then 
your feet has to be comfortable. When I think of comfortable American shoes, I instantly think of New Balance. That's my go-to pair whenever I know I have to walk long distances because when my feet's happy, I'm happy. And that's what city boys love. They love New Balance because it fits their lifestyle, it fits their outfit. And honestly, outfits, it entails your lifestyle. It's not just about the looks. You gotta live your outfit. You gotta... You gotta make outfit choices that fit your lifestyle. That's that's what I meant to say. So if you want to build a city boy closet, I would 10 out of 10 times recommend New Balance. If you have a pair, I would still recommend New Balance. If you have like three pairs, then I would say, okay, go for Vans. Vans also serve as a staple of like wandering kids. So it does go well with this outfit. So yeah, that sorts out the shoes part. I feel like shoes are probably the easiest ones for city boys because there's honestly like a fine definition. Like you gotta start with New Balance. I mean, I can't say like 100%, but like 99%, it's easier to start with New Balance than any other shoes. Now the fourth part that I wanna mention is gonna be something interesting. It's your hairstyle. I'm sure not a lot of people take this in, but hair is what completes an outfit. Better yet, like your entire mood as a person. Like I said, outfits are something that entails your lifestyle and it's something that kind of like supports your identity. However, hair is part of your identity. People are less likely to change their hair than their outfits. Like honestly, I wear different outfits every time I go out, but my hair is the same. So then what is more important in an outfit? Obviously my hair. It's what really reflects your persona. Think of the city boy definition that Popeyes gave. What type of hair would that boy most likely have? It's gonna be something clean, something that's gonna be like happy with their parents. It's gonna be like, oh, you look so good. Like it's gonna be that type of hair. To give that elite mood, the easiest way is kind of like, I feel like something like my hair right now kind of fits that because you want to like extend your front hair a bit and then use hair products like pomade or like hair wax or gel and kind of like just go like that. Right now I did, I'll just do it. Just go like that and then you just bring it to the front a bit I wish I had a mirror, but yeah, you just bring it to the front of it. And this is kind of like what a lot of city boys do. So changing your hairstyle to fit your outfit is the best option. But if you don't want to, and you're kind of scared to get a new hairstyle, I'll give you an alternative. By the way, this is an alternative. And I still think the best way is tailoring your hair, but you can basically also wear hats. Hats can also hide your hairstyle. So. You basically just put on a hat and yeah, that's what's in the magazine, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. This can cover up your hair. So it basically will make your look coherent. It just covers your hair. So then you don't have anything to worry about. Since it's winter, beanies are always a nice choice, but even ball caps like this with corduroy detail, they're not bad because you don't look cold. But if you wear something like nylon or polyester caps, those kind of feel and look cold. And corduroy, I, I love corduroy ball caps. So if you have an opportunity to like buy some, definitely purchase it, it's really versatile. So yeah, I like this profile. So that sums up city boys as far as my knowledge goes. I'm sure a lot of people know way more than me and I've missed some stuff in this video. If you have anything to add or any references you want me to check out, please leave it in the comments below. And as always, if you watched up to this point, you probably enjoyed this video. So give it a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. See you in my other videos. Bye.